There we are. Good afternoon, everyone. It's time for Stratomatic Baseball. And greetings, Kenyon. How are you today? Boy, I tell you, I had a good day yesterday, but I am just dragging today. I don't know why. I had a little wine last night. For some reason, I had the sound up on that. Let me collect my wits here. We've got a game. Between the New York Mets and the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm just pulling up the stats right now from my Windows game. Made myself another cup of coffee. Splash some water on my face. You can see I got some, I even got some on Hamilton's card. You really don't want to get these cards wet. I'll tell you that right now, but that's okay. It is what it is. Um, Okay, snap out of it, Steve. Jack Hamilton will be on the mound for the Mets. Right-handed pitcher, Ray Sadecki, the lefty, making what will be his last start for the St. Louis Cardinals. We'll get to the numbers, and we've got, oh, hello, and greetings, Ben and Jack. It's kind of overcast and... It's a cooler day, about 38 and drizzling. Hamilton, you can see on the season. If I, I wish I could see it, but you can see it. My eyes are really blurry today, too. I got into some wine last night and then couldn't sleep, so I took something to help me sleep. Kind of wish I hadn't, because I am just... Wow, just trying to shake it off today. Hamilton, a pretty good 3.93 ERA in real life. Sudeke a little high at 4.8. Let's see what they've done in the replay so far. Hamilton's made three starts, two relief appearances. He's 0-2 with a 3.54 ERA, 20 in the third innings, only 13 hits allowed, 15 Ks. Sudeke has pitched marvelously for the St. Louis Cardinals. Three games, two starts. He's 1-1 one one with a complete game. It was a shutout. A sparkling ERA of 2.12, 17 innings, 17 hits, and 9 strikeouts. And exactly, Kenyon. Yeah, so long, Ray. Have fun in San Francisco. Let me refresh this. Maybe I can see the chat a little bit better. Jack Hamilton was the pitcher that beat Canigliaro and basically blinded him, and he was never the same again. Oh, my God, I remember that. I don't remember that it was Hamilton, but I certainly remember the Canigliaro event. Yeah, and he was never the same after that. So there's your pitchers. Let's get to the lineups. And we'll get this game underway. For the Mets, Eddie Brassou will lead off. Roy McMillan, Mr. Shortstop, in the two spot. Ken Boyer will bat third. Jim Hickman in the cleanup spot. Ron Svoboda hits fifth. Ed Cranepool will bat sixth. Jerry Grody, the catcher, seventh. And Billy Murphy, eighth. With Hamilton, of course, batting ninth. We'll set the uh, Cardinals defensively for you. Pat Corrales will be catching Sadecki. Tito Francona at first base today. Javier at second. Maxville at short. Smith at third in the outfield left to right. Alex Johnson, Kurt Flood, and Lou Brock. So we're just about ready to go here. The Mets come into the game at 3-10. and 10. St. Louis at 9-9. Nine and nine. 
So St. Louis trying to get back in the race for the Mets. They're just trying to get off the mat. Here's Sadecki now ready to work. Eddie Brasseau, the right-hander, steps in. He's hitting 333 on the year, just two for six. He's only played in two games so far. Sadecki in the windup. Here's the pitch. That's a 310 against the left-hander. Grounder down to second. Javier has it. Throws him out one away, and we are underway on a kind of a wintry, fally Sunday afternoon. Certainly not a spring-like Sunday. And here's Roy McMillan. Mr. Shortstop, as mentioned previously, comes into the game at 190. One home run, four runs batted in. Sadecki gets the sign from Corrales. Here's the pitch to Roy McMillan. It's a 210 against the lefty. A fly ball into left field that's playable for Alex Johnson. And two up, two down here in the first. Here's Ken Boyer now. Boyer comes into the game at 236, one home run, seven RBIs, which, believe it or not, leads the ball club. The Cardinals have been, uh, the Mets rather, have been offensively challenged, hitting 223 as a team, only five home runs. Sudecki now into the lineup. The pitch to Boyer, 5-5 five, five right handed, swung on and missed strike three, and down goes Boyer, and down go the Mets in the first. 1-2-3 inning for Sadecki. After a half, it is Mets nothing. Cardinals coming to bed. And there's Keith. Welcome, Keith. I think this is his last one. This would be May the 4th, 66. It was May the 8th was the day the trade occurred. So he could possibly squeeze in one more. But I would bet against it. I'm just trying to catch up on the chat here now. Probably just random luck there, Ben. Small sample size. Here's the lineup for St. Louis. It'll be Lou Brock leading off. Alex Johnson in the two spot. Kurt Flood will bat third. Tito Francona in the cleanup spot today. Charlie Smith hits fifth. Julian Javier batting sixth. Dal Maxville seventh. Pat Corrales, the catcher, hits eighth, and Sadecki, a very good hitting pitcher, hitting ninth. The Mets defensively will have Jerry Grody catching Hamilton, Ed Cranepool at first, Eddie Brasseau at second, McMillan at short, Boyer at third, and an outfield from left to right of Ron Swoboda, Murphy, and Hickman. And here's Brock stepping in now. Wow, I'm having a really hard time focusing my eyes today. We'll try to, hopefully that will improve as we go along. If I miss something in the chat, I apologize. It's only because I can't read it. Lou Brock comes in at 247, two home runs, 10 RBIs. He also leads the league with 10 stolen bases. Hamilton, the right-hander, goes into the windup now. The pitch to Brock, a 1-8 right-hander to tap her down to first. Crane Pool will take it to the bag. And there's one away. And here's Alex Johnson now. <clears throat> Excuse me. A.J. hitting 264, three home runs, 10 runs batted in, tied with the club lead, tied for the club lead, I should say, with Brock with 10 RBIs. And here's Johnson, Hamilton now into the one. One six right-handed, grounder down to short. McMillan has it over to Crane Pool, two away.
And that'll bring up Kurt Flood with two down. Flood hitting just 178 on the season, one homer, five RBIs. Here's Hamilton now. He gets the sign from Grody. Lined up the pitch to Kurt Flood. That's going to be a 4-7 right-handed. A fly ball into center. Murphy drifts back a bit. Now makes the catch, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Hamilton. So we've completed an inning here in St. Louis. It's a scoreless game. Ray Sadecki now getting loose to go to work in the second. It'll be Hickman, Swoboda, and Cranepool for New York. Jim Hickman comes into the game hitting just 176. One home run, four RBIs. Sadecki, the left-hander, stares in to get the sign. Here's the wind-up pitch to Jim Hickman. That's going to be a 4-7 to the right-hander. Swung on and missed strike three, and down goes Hickman. Big cut, came up with nothing but air, and there's one down. And that'll bring up Ron Swoboda, right-handed batter. Swoboda comes in at 231. No home runs, just one RBI. Swoboda hasn't played that much. He's been in eight ball games, six for 26. Sadecki now gets the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch to Swoboda. It's a 4-10 to the right-hander. It's a high fly ball into center field. Flood going back a bit. He's there, and he's got it for the second out. And here's Cranepool now. Ed Cranepool, left-handed hitter hitting just 174. One home run, four RBIs. Sadecki gets the sign. Left on left, the windup and the pitch. That's going to be a 4-12 to the left-hander. That's going to be a base hit. In Homer, Crane Pool a week versus lefties. He'll settle for a long single, a first hit of the ball game. Let's take another look at that one. 4-12 left-handed, in home run, but Crane Pool a W. He'll settle for a long single. So Crane Pool at first, two down. And here's Jerry Grody now. Grody. Can't find him. Comes into the game at 280. No home runs. Six RBIs. Sadecki working from the stretch. Delivers the pitch to Cody. 5-12 right-handed as a grounder to first base X. That's going to be Francona. 4-E-22. Francona to his right. On a 16. He's got it. Flips to Sadecki covering. That was a nice play by Tito Francona, and that'll retire the side. So 3 1 X, side retired. No runs to hit, one left. And welcome to Sports Time Machine and Jimmy Jam. Glad to have you guys on kind of a slow and lazy Sunday afternoon. At least it is for me, anyway. Oh, is that a fact, Jack? Hit no or no hit by pitches in the basic. Wow, I haven't played it in so long. I forgot. And Ben's having a snow day. A good day to stay in and roll the dice. You know, I try to make these like a radio broadcast so that people can. Just listen if they're doing something else. You're not. I mean, you have to. You can see the. Uh, you can see the dice, and you can see the cards. But I try to. How can I say it? I try to describe the game in a way in which you don't really need to watch. The tournament in town this weekend. What is that, Sports Time Machine? Which which tournament are you referring to there? Hamilton ready to go now. Here's Francona to lead off the bottom of the second. T-21 
Tito has only been in five ball games, and he is 0 for 1. So I'm guessing he was largely used. He did have a walk, probably came in as a defensive replacement for Koenig. Hamilton ready to work now. The pitch is a 2-6. He pops him up left side. McMillan is there. He gloves it, and there's one away. Here's Charlie Smith. Right-handed hitting third baseman comes in at 324. One home run, five RBI. St. Louis hitting 259 as a team. Hamilton staring in now. Righty on righty. The windup. The pitch to Charlie Smith is going to be a 4-7. Fly ball into center. Murphy backing up a few steps, and he puts it away for the second out. And with two down, it'll be Julian Javier. Javier, a player I remember well. Comes into the game hitting just 151. No home runs, three RBIs. And here's the windup and the pitch. That's going to be a 3-7 against the right-hander. Ground ball back to the mound. Hamilton stabs it, throws over to first. And that'll do it. A 1-2-3 inning for Hamilton. And we're through two in a scoreless contest. Oh, my! Ladies NCAA at Gonzaga. How about that? You know, I used to know all that stuff. I'll tell you just briefly. I worked uh, for a local supermarket chain, and we were the store that was the closest to Gonzaga. So we got... Actually, 40% of that store's business came from the college. So that gives you some idea of just how much that particular supermarket relies on Gonzaga. Anyway, my last 12 or so years with the company, I was the uh, inventory coordinator, shipping and receiving. Also responsible, responsible excuse me, for direct delivery vendors. And I absolutely had to know everything that was going on in, at Gonzaga because it affected the sales of the store so much. Now I'm clear up on the north side of town, and I hate to admit it, fairly out of touch. We've got a scoreless one here as Sadeki gets ready to go to work in the third. Billy Murphy will lead things off. Murphy has not played much. He's 0 for 4 on the season. Playing center today. Sadeki gets the sign from Corrales now. Here's the windup and here's the pitch. That's going to be a 4 6 to the right hander. It's a grounder down to short. Maxville on the run throws him out. Nice play, Maxville. And that'll bring up Hamilton, the pitcher. Right-handed hitter. 1-W. Here's the pitch from Sadeki. That'll be a 5-8 right-handed. It's a triple to three, and look at that. That is down the right field line and into the corner. Brock chasing it down. There goes Hamilton. He's rounding, and he's in with a triple. Holy cow, can you believe that? Let's take another look at it. 5-8 righty, tripled to three. It is a three. And the pitcher, Jack Hamilton, a one-pitcher's hitting card with a one-out triple. Both of these teams have had trouble scoring runs all season so far. And because of that, the Cardinals are going to pull the infield in here in the third inning with Eddie Brissou coming to the plate. He grounded to second his first time up. Sadeki staring in now. Checks the runner, full windup. Pitch to Brissou is a 2-10 left-handed, a ground ball to third base. Smith to Francona, runner will hold. Two away and it will be up to McMillan. Roy McMillan, the shortstop, flew out to left his first time up today. That's right, Kenyon. Jack with the warm-up jacket. McMillan trying to pick him up. Sadecki, the wind-up. 
pitch to McMillan is a 210 left handed fly into left. That's going to do it. Johnson's right there to make the catch, and that will retire the side. So no runs a hit. They leave Hamilton stranded at third. And we go to the bottom of the third inning, still scoreless. Starting to get a little bit more energy, still having trouble with the blurred vision today, which I haven't dealt with that for a while now. Comes and goes. Bottom of the order for St. Louis. Dal Maxville to lead it off, hitting an even 300, just 9 for 30. No home runs, 5 RBIs. Right, Jack? Yeah, I was as, as shocked as any of my when he hit that triple. Hamilton the windup. Gets to Dal Maxville, a 3 6. Struck him out. So Hamilton's first strikeout of the game. Maxville retired, and here's Pat Corrales, the catcher. Corrales hitting just 167. No home runs, only one RBI. And thank you, Sports Time Machine. Yeah, that tournament is exciting. I recommend anybody check that out. It's kind of a mini season. I call it a tournament, like a round robin tournament, basically. Hamilton, the pitch to Corrales. That's going to be a 5 9 right handed grounder to shortstop X. That'll be McMillan, a 3 E 20. Here's the play. On a 14, he's got it and throws him out. Nice play, McMillan. McMillan, of course, a one shortstop in his younger day. In fact, they used to call him Mr. Shortstop. He was considered the best fielding shortstop in the league for many years, at least several years. And here comes Sadeki. Sadeki, an eight pitcher's hitting card. N power, left-handed hitter, the best you can be as a hitter with the pitcher's hitting card. So Hamilton staring in now. The pitch to Ray Sadecki on a 110. Grounder to third. That's going to be Boyer. Over to Crane Pool. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Hamilton. And we're through three in a scoreless game. Hamilton looking extremely sharp today. Sudeke pitching a good ball game as well. Subtract that triple to Hamilton. He's hanging right there with Hamil with the Hamilton today. Again, my apologies. I'm just a little off today. Trying to snap out of it. Sudeke ready to go to work in the fourth. We're going to have Boyer, Hickman, and Swoboda. Boyer 0 for 1, struck out in the first. Sudeke getting his sign now. Here's the windup. Takes to Boyer is a 3-7 left-handed, and he draws the walk. Oh, so a leadoff walk to Boyer. Not a threat to steal. And here's Jim Hickman now. Hickman's got some pop. Struck out his first time up. Runner taking his lead. Sudeke a glance over there. Now from the stretch. The pitch to Hickman. That's a 2-10. Double to 14. On 18, he'll settle for a long single. Boyer will round and go into third. And the Mets are in business here in the fourth. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. And here comes Ron Swoboda. Swoboda flew to center his first time up today. The Mets will elect to play the infield. Sorry, the Cardinals will play the infield at double play depth. Sudeke now working from the stretch. The pitch to Swoboda. That's going to be a 4 5 right handed. Grounder to shortstop X. That's Maxville. A fine shortstop at 2E28. This could be two. 
And here's the play. It's the E rating. It's a four on a 28, and he boots it. Oh, my goodness. How about that? A run will score. E6. Hickman to second. Boyer crosses the plate. And it's one to nothing, New York. Still nobody out as Ed Cranepool stands in from the left side. He singled his first time up. One of only two hits in the game today. Three now after the single by Hickman. So here's Cranepool, first and second, nobody out. Left on left. Pitch from Sadecki, a 6 9. It's a grounder to first base B. It's going to be Francona down to Maxville, back to first, not in time. So a 3 6 4. Swoboda's erased. Hickman will take third on the play. And with one out, they have first and third again. Crane Pool, not a threat to run. Cardinals at double play depth as Jerry Grody stands in from the right side. Sudeke in a bind here now, trails by a run. Two men on, only one away. Trying to get another ground ball. There's the pitch to Grody. It's a 6-11 right-handed. Base hit right up the middle. It's an RBI single for Jerry Grody, and it's 2 to nothing. New York. Hickman will cross the plate. Cranepool will hold at second. It's an RBI single for Grody, and it's 2 to nothing. Sudeke kind of surprising to me, only a rated a 5 for endurance as a starter. And absolutely, Jack, yeah, he's got cards in his younger day. He had a string of one defensive shortstop cards. So by 66, I'd have to assume he was clearly on the downside of his career with a 3E20 rating. Here's Billy Murphy now, grounded to short his first time up. Right-handed batter. Sadecki from the stretch. Pitch to Murphy, is a 2-6 left-handed. A double to four on an eight. That's gonna hang up in left field for Alex Johnson. And he puts it away two down. And now it'll be the pitcher, Hamilton. Not to be taking lightly after a triple in the third. So they keep hoping to get out of the inning with the pitcher at bat. Right-handed hitter. And here's the delivery. That's going to be a 5-6 to the righty. A single to 18, and look at that. Jack Hamilton is 2-for-2. Two two. It's a star single, so the runners can only advance one base. Oh, my goodness. Hamilton with a hitting display. And the bases are loaded for Eddie Basu. Oh, my goodness. Hamilton, two for two. And here's Pursue. He's 0 for two. Grounded out twice. Sadecki really struggling with his command so far this afternoon. Now he stares in the full windup. The pitch to Pursue. 5-5. Five, five, swung on and missed strike three. And that will end the inning. But two runs for the Mets. On three hits and they leave a pair. And they take a 2 to nothing lead into the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> yes, Keith. He spent some extra time in the cage this week. Oh, Ben, it kind of does, actually. Uh, the under the line under it means he was primarily a starter in here in the case of Sadecki. Hamilton doesn't have that, which means that he was basically used equally in starting and relief. And Hamilton's retired all nine batters to face him now, and now he has a two-run lead. Top of the order for St. Louis, Lou Brock to start things off. Brock 0 for 1. Hamilton getting the sign. Here's the pitch to Lou Brock. That's going to be a 2-7 to the right hand, right-handed. Fly ball to center field, Murphy backpedaling. 
And he's got it one down. And that'll bring up Alex Johnson, 0 for 1 today. Johnson, of course, would win the American League batting title four years later. Hamilton into the windup. The pitch to Johnson. That's going to be a 3 4 against the righty. Grounder down to third base. That's for Boyer. He's got it over to Crane Pool, two away. So Hamilton, really good rhythm today, working quickly. Kurt Flood standing in from the right side. He flew to center his first time up. Grody flashing some signs. Hamilton into the windup now. The pitch to Flood. A 3 8 against the righty. Base hit up the middle. And that's the first hit of the game for St. Louis. A two out single by Kurt Flood. Flood, a star 15 stealer. Let's check the battery now. Hamilton with a poor hold, plus three. Grody, a minus one catcher. So that's two. 17. They will hold him on. That'll make him a 15. And here's Tito Francona. And Flood's going to try for it. Two through six and 12. He'd be a 15. It's a 10. He does not establish a good lead. And here's the next offering to Tito Francona. It's a 6-6 six, six to the left-hander, and he walks him. Ball four. Flood down to second. First runner in scoring position for the Cardinals today, and that will bring up Charlie Smith. <laughs> Chuckling at Kenyon's comment there. Oh, yeah. Pitchers love to boast when they hit. Two on, two out, and here's Smith. Flew to center his first time up. Hamilton being tested really for the first time today. From the stretch now. Pitch to Smith, a 6-8 right-handed, and he walks him to load the bases. Oh, my. So with two away, the Cardinals have loaded the bases from the bottom of the fourth, and here comes Julian Javier. Julian bounced back to the mound his first time up. Now Grody going out to the mound. Well, he does that, bear with me. I'm going to turn the heat down. And there we're back. Okay, base is loaded, two down. Mets leading two to nothing. And here's Javier now. Hamilton to the full line. Pitch to Julian, two six right handed. That's a tapper to short. McMillan, he'll flip it over to Brasuv to retire the side. Six four. Side retired. No runs a hit. The Cardinals leave the sacks full here in the fourth. And after four complete. It's Mets 2, Cardinals nothing. Hamilton, a 6-rated starter. For endurance, that is. For Sadecki, this is his first inning of potential fatigue. And S5. And it will be Roy McMillan leading off the 5th for New York. Yes, Keith, White was with the Phillies this year. In fact, he's among the National League RBI leaders so far in the young replay. McMillan, right-handed batter, 0 for 2 today. Sadecki, the windup. Pitched to McMillan, 3-6 left-handed. He pops him up left side, Maxville under it. And there's one down. And here's Ken Boyer now. Boyer 0 for 1 with a walk. Came around to score in the fourth after drawing the leadoff walk. Sadecki getting the sign. Here's the windup. The pitch to Boyer is going to be a 2 11 left handed foul ball back to the plate. Corrales back, throws the mask down, and puts it away. 
So two out quickly in the fifth, and here's Jim Hickman now. Hickman won for two today. Corrales flashing the sign. Sadeki nodding. The windup. The pitch to Hickman. 5-9 to the right-hander. Fly ball into center. Playable for Kurt Flood. Flood glides over and puts it away to retire the side. So a 1-2-3 inning for Ray Sadeki. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's still 2 to nothing. Here's Hamilton now, facing the bottom of the St. Louis batting order. It's Maxville, Corrales, and Sadecki. Dal Maxville struck out his first time up. Hamilton getting the sign from Grody now, the windup. The pitch to Maxville is a 2-9 right-handed base hit up the middle, and Maxville aboard with a leadoff single. So Maxville on first, and here's Pat Corrales now. Corrales, as mentioned previously, hasn't played much this year. Just 18 at bats, three for 18. Now three for 19 as he's 0 for 1 in this ball game. Hamilton ready to work from the stretch. The pitch to Pat Corrales. 3-7 right-handed. Ground ball to short. That's going to be two. McMillan throws to Brassou on to Crane Pool. Double play. Oh, that was beautiful. What a play. Double play to perfection. Two out, nobody on. And here's Sadecki, a fine-hitting pitcher. Batting left. Hamilton, the wind-up and the pitch to Sadecki. 3-5, grounder to short, McMillan again, over to Crane Pool, and that'll do it. So McMillan flashing some leather this inning for the Cardinals. No runs to hit, nobody left on. And we are through five. It is Mets two, Cardinals nothing. Oh, yeah, and Ben's moved on to the advanced version now. I liked the uh, single-sided box score better. Ben sent me a couple of box scores from his games through email. So, Ben, maybe you'd like to share some thoughts on basic versus advance. I haven't played basic since 1971. So I certainly can't comment on it. I've forgotten how to play it even. To the sixth we go here in St. Louis. Ron Swoboda to lead it off for New York's. So Ron's 0 for 2 today. Sadecki the sign from Corrales. Here's the windup and the push to Swoboda. That's going to be a 5-7 right-handed. Swung on and missed strike three. Sadecki reached back for a little something extra there and struck out Swoboda. And here's Crane Pool now, one for two today. Left on left. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a 2 4 against the lefty. Struck him out. So two Ks in the inning for Sadecki. Two out, nobody on, and here's Jerry Grody. Grody won for two today. Grody, a favorite of mine from my youth. Fine defensive catcher. Great game caller. I'm kind of surprised Grody was never a manager, to be honest with you, when you consider all those things. Sadeki the one. Pitch to Grody. 6-12 right-handed is a grounder to second base X. That's going to be Javier, a 2-E-15. Behind the bag, here's the play. 
On a three, he dives behind the bag and stops it up to his feet, throws to Francona, and he is out. Oh, my goodness. What a sensational play by Julian Javier. 4-3-X. It's a web jam, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Mets. And if we had a replay in those days, they'd be showing that again on the screen. Oh, my goodness. To the bottom of the sixth we go, still two to nothing, New York. Hamilton entering in his first potential inning of fatigue. And St. Louis will send up the top of the order, Lou Brock to lead things off. Hamilton studying the signs now. The wind up, the pitch to Brock. That's a 1-7 to the righty, grounder to second base. Pursue has it over to Crane Pool. And there's one down. Here comes Alex Johnson now, 0 for 2 today. Hamilton in complete control of the game so far. Only two singles allowed. Here's the wind up on the pitch to Johnson. That's going to be a 1-8 right-handed comebacker. Hamilton's got it. Flips to Crane Pool, two away quickly. Now that'll bring up Kurt Flood. Flood, one for two, has one of only two hits for St. Louis this afternoon. And here's Hamilton's delivery to Kurt Flood. That's going to be a 2-6 right-handed. Double to one on a 15. He'll settle for a long single. And Kurt Flood's two for three today. Flood will be held on first, making him a 15. With Francona at the plate, he's going to try for the lead. Two through six and 12. It's a four. He's got the lead. The pitch to Francona. There goes Flood. The throw from Grody. He's in there. Flood with a stolen base. And for Kurt Flood, that's his second stolen base of the season. Here's the next pitch to Francona now. 1-7 liner right into the glove of Crane Pool, and that'll do it. No runs a hit, one left. Jack Hamilton just sailing along. And yeah, there's nothing to stop you from doing that either, Ben. A lot of us have little house rules we throw into the game. You can pretty much pick and choose how you want to play the game. I would imagine you're trying to play it stock in the very beginning. That's understandable. But you may find as you go along, you might want to tweak things here and there. That's an amazing stat, Kenyon. Jerry Grody caught 116 shutouts in his career. He was a marvelous game caller. And really defensively, he was absolutely everything you would want in a catcher. That's a good question, Keith. Let's take a look. I apologize, guys. I'm still really struggling with my vision today. Good grief. He was traded during the 67 season to California. He started the season with the Mets, 31 and a third innings. And they traded him to the Angels. Since I'm here, you may as well look up the particulars of that particular trade. He went to the Angels on June 10th for Nick Wilhite.
Wheel height by 67. I think he was over the hill. Here's Billy Murphy to lead off the seventh for New York. Murphy 0 for 2. Sadecki gets the sign from Corrales now. Here's the wind up on the pitch to Billy Murphy. That's a 3 6 against the left hander. Fly ball into center field. Flood gliding over. He's there. Flood was a marvelous, graceful center fielder. Hamilton pitching a shutout. He's going to bat. <laughs> Not only that, he's two for two. Sadecki into the windup. That's going to be a 6 5. Fly ball into right field. Brock coming in, and he's there to make the catch. So two away quickly here in the seventh. And here comes Pursue. He's 0 for 3 today. Sadecki gets the sign, the windup. Chris Eddie, 1 8 left handed. It's a double to 8 on a 10. He'll settle for a long single. So pursue aboard with two down, not a threat to steal. And here's Roy McMillan now. Roy 0 for 3 today. He's put a display, put on a display in the field, however. Right handed batter. Sadecki from the stretch. That'll be a 3-7 against the lefty, and he walks him, ball four. So now, with two outs, a single by Brasu, and a walk to McMillan. And Sadecki's just one hit or walk from fatiguing. There's activity now in the St. Louis pin. Tracy Stallard begins to throw. Or has been throwing, I should say. Look down there, simply did not notice it. But yes, yeah, Stallard's been busy. In fact, he's almost ready. As Ken Boyer steps to the plate. Boyer 0 for 2 with the walk. First and second, two down. Sadeki tenuously staying in the game at this point. And here's the pitch to Boyer. That's going to be a 4-5 to the right-hander. It's a grounder to shortstop X. That'll be Dal Maxville, a 2-E-28. Maxville into the hole. Here's the play on an 11. E rating. The roll is an 11 on a 28. He makes a fine play. Goes the short way to Javier, and that will do it. 6-4-X, side retired. No runs a hit, two left. And it's still two to nothing New York as we move to the bottom of the seventh. The story today, Jack Hamilton. Hamilton came into the game 0-2 with a 3.54 ERA. However, he only allowed 13 hits in 20 innings. And he's really got it going on today. Charlie Smith will lead off the bottom of the seventh for St. Louis. Here's Smith now, 0 for 1 with a walk. Hamilton gets the sign from Grody. Here's the windup on the pitch to Smith. That'll be a 4 9 right handed high fly ball to deep left field. Swoboda, that's going to roll to the wall. Swoboda picks it up. Smith rounds and holds that second with a stand-up double. Let's take another look at that one. 4-9, right-handed. Homer to 6 on a 10. It is a stand-up double for Charlie Smith. Now there's action in the New York pen. Jack Fisher begins tossing down there in the Met pen. Stallard in the St. Louis pen. Here's Javier. Runner on second, nobody out. Hamilton the sign from Grody now. 
Crystal Javier is a 5 6 right handed, swung on and missed strike three. So Hamilton still got something in the tank as he fans Javier. And it'll be Dal Maxville coming to bat. Maxville one for two today. And great information there from Jack Brooks. Absolutely. Stallard most famous, probably most famous, for tossing up Roger Maris's 61st home run. Maxville staring in, now checks his runner. Pitch to Maxville. 2-6 against the righty. A triple to five. On a 10, that's going to be down for extra bases. That'll roll to the wall. Murphy up with it. Smith will score. It's a double for Maxville, and it's a 2-1 to one ball game. Holy cow. Dal Maxville with a one-out double. The light-hitting shortstop is 2-3 for three today, and it is a 2-1 to one game. Pat Corrales coming to bat. Jerry Grody out to the mound. Hamilton saying he's fine. Probably buying some time for Fisher. And here's Corrales. Runner in scoring position is the tying run. And there is one away. And here's the pitch to Corrales. That's a 1-9 right-handed. Struck him out. And normally you'd send up a hitter here, but I'll tell you what, with an eight hitters card, left-handed batter, I don't think the Cardinals have anybody on the bench who could pinch hit who's as good as Sadeki. So Sadeki's going to bat. Left-handed hitter, 8-N. Hamilton with the windup. Pitch to Ray Sadecki, a 6'11, fly to right, playable for Hickman. He's right there to make the catch and retire the side. The Cardinals, however, a run on two hits. They leave the tying run in scoring position. Holy cow, what a game. And through seven here, it's Mets two, Cardinals one. So Sadecki being as good of a hitting pitcher as he is, that kept him in the game right there. I'll take a short break here to use the facilities. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me on a Sunday. I apologize for being a little off today. I'm trying to trying to power through it. Yeah, right, Ben, another game to the wire.
And we're back. Another tight ball game through seven. Mets two, Cardinals one. As we go to the eight, Sadecki still out there. Let's check the Mets. The Mets really need a win here coming in three and ten. Dennis Rybant will join Fisher in the pen. Apparently, their save leader with three. Is that crazy or what? Unless they got someone in a trade. Can that be right? Holy crap, I gotta look at that now. Bear with me. I'm trying to trying to get it together today. Took a couple sleeping pills last night. I feel like I'm running in mud today. Okay, here's the Mets. Let's see their regular season stats. I mean, there weren't as many saves back then, obviously, as there are today. Actually, it was, oh my goodness, it was Jack Hamilton who led the team in saves with 13. Isn't that interesting? So apparently, Hamilton who began the year as a starter, ended up being their closer. And yeah, there's his closer rating of four. We're not using closer ratings, of course. They didn't use them originally in 66. Wow, I did not know that. Hickman, Swoboda, and Cranepool do for the Mets. Sudecki gets the sign from Corrales now. Here's the windup and the pitch to Hickman. That's going to be a 6-9 right-handed grounder down to third. Smith has it over to Francona, one down. And here comes Ron Swoboda. Ron's 0 for 3 today. Sudecki the windup. Christus Swoboda, that's a 1-9 against the lefty. He struck him out. That's twice today. Sudeke has fanned Swoboda, and that'll bring up Crane Pool. Ed Crane Pool, one for three. Left on left. Sudeke gets the sign. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. That's going to be a 1-5 left-handed. Swung on and missed strike three. Holy cow. Sadecki still has it going on, too. One, two, three inning. What a pitcher's duel. Grody Murphy checking the Mets' defense. We'll hear McMillan pursue at second. But he would be due to bat fourth in the inning. Swoboda in left. That's about as good as it's going to get for now. Okay, hang on to your seats. Bottom of the eighth we go. Hamilton takes the mound. Top of the order for St. Louis. Dallard ready, Join, being joined by the lefty Woodchick in the St. Louis pin. And here's Lou Brock, 0 for 3 today. Hamilton gets his sign, the wind-up straight to Brock. 3-5 against the righty, a triple to 13, but would you look at that? On a 14, Brock will settle for a long single. Righty is due. And here comes Westrom, and that's going to do it. 
He's going to pull Hamilton right here. Hamilton appeared to start running out of gas there in the seventh, and they're not going to wait around for him to implode. They need the win too badly. And they're going to go to Dennis Rybant right here. Among other things, Rybant with a minus two hold compared to Hamilton's plus three with Grody's minus two. That would have made Brock an 18 held. And you know he's thinking about running. He's the tying run at first. So they're going to make a change. Hamilton, a fine effort today, however. Seven plus. He only allowed six hits, one run. He walked a pair. And he struck out a pair. No, three. Excuse me. So here's Ryband, Ryband in the replay. Six games, two saves, no record, 0 0.96, 0 0.96 ERA across nine and a third innings. So he has been by far the best reliever. Good point, sports time. Yeah, it's something to watch. Same thing occurs with uh, Boston and, and, no, I'm sorry, Cleveland and Tiant. If you look at that particular year, Tiant made quite a few starts and also led the club in saves. Very interesting how they used pitchers in those days compared to now. So here's Ryband, a minus two hold with Grody's minus one. That would make him a 16, held on a 14. So Brock will be held on. That will greatly reduce his chances. And here's Alex Johnson. And Brock's going to try for it anyway. He needs two through seven. One to 15 if he gets it. Eight, he does not get the lead. The next pitch to Johnson. 211 right handed a ground ball to second, smothered by Brassou, throws to Crane Pool. Brock will take second on the play. So, a ground ball C, Brock into scoring position, blazing speed out there, and he's the tying run. And here comes Kurt Flood. Oh, oh my goodness. One down. Bottom of the eighth, Mets two, Cardinals one. Flood, the hottest hitter for the team today. Two for three so far. Ryband staring in now. Here's the pitch to Flood. On a 6-6, he pops him up. Left side, infield fly rule. McMillan, two down. And here comes Tito Francona. Francona, 0 for 2 with a walk today. Ryband came in to get out of this jam now. Tying run in scoring position, two down. Francona, the lefty. Ryband, the righty. The windup on the pitch is going to be a 6 7 to the left hander. Grounder to second. Brissou over to Crane Pool, and that will do it. So Ryband comes in and extinguishes the flame. No runs to hit. Brock left at second. We're through eight. Mets two, Cardinals one. Oh, oh my. And here's Sadeki now, <laughs> an S5 for endurance. He's about ready to go into his ninth inning of work. It'll be the bottom of the order for New York. Grody, Murphy, the pitcher's spot. Would they dare a hit for their best reliever to try to get an insurance run? That's right, sports time. Yes, he did. In the real game, it was 8 to nothing. Matt's a complete game, one-hit shutout.
for Hamilton. So he didn't quite do that today, but he came pretty close. Pitched the hell of a game. Here's Grody now, one for three. Sadeki the lefty, winds and deals. That's going to be a 6-4 to the right-hander. Fly to center field X. That'll be Flood. He's a 1-E-0. Making the roll merely a formality. On a 2. Flood into the gap. Leaps. Oh, my goodness. It's a leaping, diving catch by Kurt Flood. He holds up the ball. I can't even believe he made that play. Holy crap. You've got to be kidding me. What a play by Kurt Flood, and what a huge play that is in this game. 8x exclamation. It's a web gem by Kurt Flood. That's the first out of the inning. And here's Billy Murphy now. Murphy 0 for 3 today. Sudeke tips his cap to his center fielder. Now here's the wind-up on the pitch to Murphy. That's going to be a 3-6 lefty fly to center. A little easier play for Flood this time. Barely has to move and makes that one. And with two out and nobody on, right bat will bat. He's a 3-W, so we have to get a new hitter's card out here. So here's right bat now. 3-W right-handed batter. And the pitch from Sudeke on a 4-6. Tapper down to short. Maxville will throw over to Francona. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Sudeke. Last chance for the Cardinals. Bottom of the ninth in a 2-1 ball game. They let Ryband hit. So far he's been their best reliever. And it will be Smith, Javier, and Maxville for St. Louis. Grody flashing some signs. Charlie Smith, one for two with a walk today. Ryband nodding. Now the windup. Here's the pitch to Smith. One, three, righty. Tapper down to first. Crane pool will take it to the bag. That's one. Mets came into the game three and ten in desperate need of a win here. And here's Julian Javier. Javier 0 for 3 today. Ryvant staring in. The windup. The pitch to Javier. 6 3 right handed is a fly to left field X. That's going to be Swoboda, a 3 E4. Swoboda ranging to the gap. Here's the play on an 8 E rating. It's a 4 on an E4, and he cannot get it. It's a two base error on Ron Swoboda. And the tying run is in scoring position. Oh, my goodness. First error of the game. And it's a big one. On an E4. Can you believe it? So some very tough luck for the Mets there. Javier with wheels is at second base. He's the tying run. And here's Maxville. Dal Maxville's two for three today. RBI double in the seventh knocked in the only Cardinal run of the game. Javier taking his lead. Ryban will look back. Now the pitch to Maxville. 5-4 right-handed. Third base X. That'll be Boyer, a 2-E26. Boyer, a good third baseman. Here's the play. On an 11, that'll be the E rating. It's that dreaded 5 on a 26, and Boyer boots it. Oh, my God, can you believe this? E5. Smith holds up at third. Two errors in the inning now, and the Mets' defense unraveling in the bottom of the ninth. Ryband, a bit frustrated. He should be out of the inning, sitting in the dugout. Game should be over. Instead, first and third, one out, and here's Pat Corrales.
Cardinals fans, sensing they have a chance. I'm trying to think of how to play this. They're going to bring the infield in. Most of the time, I play at double play depth in this situation. But Corrales, not a good hitter. Infield in on the pitch to Corrales. Two, six, swung on and missed strike three. And boy, that's exactly what Ryban was looking for against Corrales. He fans for the second time today, and now we'll have a pinch hitter with two outs and runners at the corners. Let's see who it's going to be. They used Kernick and Skinner in real life. Here's the computer only Kernick. Best shot for St. Louis would be Mike Shannon, however, and that's who they're going to bring off the bench. <laughs> Mike Shannon will come in. And bat for Sadecki. Actually, in many ways, Sadecki would be the best hitter for the spot. However, in this situation, that just to me does not seem very realistic. So we're going to go with the pinch hitter, Mike Shannon. Shannon on the season hitting just 167. He's one for six. He hasn't played much, although you can see he played a lot that year. Just hasn't played much in the first month. Right, Jack? I'm uh, unbelievable. Runners at the corners, two down, two to one Mets. Rybant trying to close it out, Shannon trying to tie it up, and here's the pitch. It's a 4 8 single into center. The game is tied. Oh my goodness, an RBI single for Mike Shannon. Javier will cross the plate with an unearned run. Maxville will hold up at second. And it's a tie ball game. And here comes Brock again. It seems like he was just up. Holy cow, two errors and a two-out single, and the game is tied. Lou Brock at the plate, batting left. Runners take their leads. Rybant from the stretch. The pitch to Brock, a 5-5 five, five to the lefty, and he walks him to load the bases. Holy crap. You've got to be kidding me. A bases loaded walk to Lou Brock, and now here comes Alex Johnson, and he can walk it off right here. He's 0 for 4 today. Mets led the whole way. Nobody throwing in the New York pen. Alex Johnson 0 for 4. Rybant staring in. The full windup now with the sacks full. The pitch to AJ. 3 7. And he walks in the winning run. Oh my God. Can you believe it? And the fans are going nuts in St. Louis. For the Mets, it's a stunning loss. They went into the bottom of the ninth with a 2-1 to one lead, their best reliever on the mound. And his defense just blew up on him. Holy crap, i got to wrap my head around this. Two runs and a hit, both unearned.
Ryban, his first decision, 0 and 1. One and two thirds innings, two hits, two walks. I don't think there's anyone here more stunned than I am. And Ray Sadecki <laughs> on the other side of the coin, an S5 starter, he ends up going nine innings and he ends up with the win. He's two and one. He only allowed six hits. Two runs. So through eight innings, the game belonged to Jack Hamilton, and in the end, the game belongs to Ray Sadecki. Sadecki issued two walks, struck out five, seven, struck out seven. A fine performance by Sadecki. I tell you, I'm so stunned, guys. I don't even know who to award the Chief Spokane Gary Player of the Game to. The Cardinals end up with three runs on eight hits, no errors. The Mets blew up defensively, an error by Swoboda, an E4, and then an error by Boyer down at third. And it cost them the ball game. Two runs, six hits, two errors. There's your final. As the Cardinals rob the Mets three to two. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. This one was, yes, get in. Literally a walk off walk. Holy cow. I've said it before, you can't script them like this. I feel badly for the Mets, though, I have to admit. 3 and 11 now. On the other hand, that does tighten up the race in the National League with the Cardinals improving to 10 and 9. Well, it's in the books. It is what it is. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me on a Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow's game will be the Baltimore Orioles at the Washington Senators. We'll conclude the date of May the 4th. Wally Bunker for the Orioles and Jim Duckworth for the Senators. I'll get a chance to use the Jim Duckworth card that Joel Anderson made for me. You guys may remember, some of you guys at least, may remember the last Duckworth start. It was quite a while ago. Anyone remember that one? You know, Jack, I'm in agreement, actually. I was thinking the same thing, but I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? How do you... Oh, God, how do you award that? Actually, at the end of the day, Sadeki was the player of the game. I'm looking at it now, you can make a case for Maxville. Holy crap, what a ball game. I, I still can't believe it. I thought the Mets had it in the bag. Well, that's it for me. I'll get out of here. I want to thank you guys. I'll, I apologize for being just, like I say, I feel like I'm running in mud today. Just dragging it. I'll be back tomorrow at 1, hopefully a little perkier. And I'll bring you Orioles at Senators. So take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Spokane Steve, goodbye for now.